Hi everyone, I hope you're good guys and welcome for a new video. So this one is a bit special from now each last Friday of the month. Uh, instead of giving a show tips, I will pick up one of the presets of my bank collection and I will kind of deconstruct it and like show you what is important in the preset. Maybe you give you some extra tips and advice on how you make it how to make it your own, your own sorry. So that's the preset we're gonna kind of study. It's kind of very drone bassy sound. All right, so let's just me deactivate everything. So that's kind of the basic preset. And you can see I start with triangle. And what I've done is, so you have the envelope, which is kind of, kind of good envelope for lead with a fast attack and a bit of decay, but basically it's like almost at the maximum straight away. So one thing you can put it in mono and let me put the volume up and add, I add a bit of glide. And second thing important, so the envelope is gonna let me activate the filter before to put that actually. So the filter is a prodigy kind of filter, uh, 24 dB because it's kind of a bass drone. So I don't want to let it pass too much frequency. And I had just a little bit of resonance. It's just to emphasize a little bit, but I don't want to sound it too much like acid sound or too resonant. Just a bit of dry, it's just, just usually to add a bit of harmonics and make things a bit louder. And yeah, so because it's a triangle, it's not that much harmonic. And the interesting thing I've done is I use the amp to as well as um, modulate the position. So that like this, it's going up on the, it's starting from a triangle, but it's going on the way to a saw tooth. So if I put here, so you see it's basically, and good thing with that is like kind of creating this kind of plucky uh, effect at the beginning having a bit more trend into your sound so that's one thing second things I've done I had the sub oscillator because obviously it's a bass sound so you want You want to sound to have a bit of body and sub. And the last thing I add, I add some noise. So now with the last version of Live 10 and the update Wavetable, you can import you on Wavetable, which is nice because there is, I mean, I didn't find any good noise sound inside the Wavetable, and which is kind of annoying because uh, when you want to have this, you know, this noise is really nice. When you open the filter, you get this nice extra. I don't know, it's just adding a bit high and it's just so nice and it's work really well, especially with uh, side Sotus waveform. So you get this kind of Moogie sound. There is some FM here, but it's because I have to hear again. The thing is usually if you don't put effect, you see when you import the noise, it's like sounding too metallic. It's not really sounding like a real uh, noise. So adding FM like with the maximum, it sounds a little bit more like a normal uh, noise. The next thing's important to add, obviously, it's uh, unison, which is gonna wire the sound and detune it. So here I've been for a classic detune and with six voice and Not too much because after it's like kind of weird, but around halfway and same goes with the voice. Not too much, but not too low neither. And now you start to get the base of the sound. And then after it's just about effects, it's mainly so I'm gonna reduce the volume because otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna saturate. So corpus is a resonator. You see I like I like to use it always to add some harmonics either in the low or in the high. 
I think you have by default this product which is called Bright Key, and or it's Bright Snare. I don't know. It's one of or the other two, uh, which is with a very slow dry wet can really enhance your sound. So it kind of helped this one with the the high frequency, but there is a gain difference here, so it's hard to hear. But then I I add this. This one on the other end is more a bit more present in the low because obviously it's don't forget that it's kind of a bass scent. This is nice only for when you're gonna open the filter basically. And then you have echo, which is a re it's just a delay. You know, it's, if you're familiar with my video, you know me. I like usually going around 30% of dry wet, 30% of feedback, and it's in ping pong, so it's like left, right, left, right, left, right. And in three, which is not too fast but not too slow, and usually it works well. Reverb, nothing really special to say about it, it's just some reverbs. Like I say, I like to use around 30% and the GK between one and two seconds for the scent, it's not too much. Then we have a drum bus, just to add a little. Oh, let me actually bring back this. So now you can hear this other bit of sub and this other bit of high. I could have used an EQ, but yeah, and drum burst is kind of compressing and adding a little bit of drive and crunch to, to make things everything kind of glue together. Turn this itself out a little bit of color, then saturator, just extra harmonics, and I like. Here I've just done a little boost uh, here because it's probably where you're gonna use. Uh, let me bring down the. Where you're gonna use your send the most. You can adjust probably in, from, in depending of the key of you. And then, last utility is just to make bass mono and widen up a little bit the sound because it's a uh, the tune is already is gonna be wide, so adding a bit extra width is gonna be nice. This kind of drone bass is nice to have a bit of stereo on it. And that's pretty much how you get a kind of basic drone. So bass sound. So obviously you can experiment with the wavetable. Always try to keep something similar to the triangle. So you can play with the with the all the so Swiss, so you all uh, maybe go to the pulse and yeah. Uh, that's why it's no good. But oh. this one is interesting as well. You see sometimes when you try things? Let me check. Let me. Yeah. You see, I don't emphasize this enough, but do not this day to experiment, change the waveform. And yeah, I think after if you. Well, now. Just. You can add some LFO if you want to add variation, that's up to you, yeah, like I said, like very slow LFO. Maybe this one you can add, let's say, let's be crazy, let's have some, some FM and let's modulate this with a slow LFO. And yeah, you got a completely different preset. So, that's one of the reasons I'm making this video as well. It's like kind of to show you how you can really make your own of preset and don't hesitate to change stuff. You can still after save it as a V2 or and oh, just remove the point here. And then that's it. I guess you have a second version of your preset. All right, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and activate the bell notification. Thank you for watching, Kai, and see you next time. Bye-bye.